I just gotta get the cheese, hey, I need me the cheese, then I'm out. What's happening YouTube? It is the one and only Alpha Mo, and I'm back again with another video. So on today's video, guys, I want to give you a market breakdown on the volatility 100 index. So basically, we are unpacking the hacks of synthetic indices or trading on Deriv. So keep it in mind that you can use this strategy whilst trading volatility 75 index, 300, 1S, 100, 1S, 125, 10, and obviously also going to the boom, 1,500, the crash, everything. You can actually implement this strategy and trade with it in any other pair that's on Deriv. If it is your first time in the channel, you're welcome into the channel, man. Please make sure that you do hit the subscribe button for me and obviously whilst watching, do hit the like button as well and also do share this content with anyone that you know that might benefit from this content. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for the continued support, man. We're currently on the road to 10,000 subscribers and we are too heavy with that. 10,000 subscribers is just the first milestone. We're just aiming for more and there's no going back from here so let's just get into this video guys and obviously one thing that i'd like to emphasize on is that if you are watching this video or if you manage to get to this part of the video please do like the video because if there's something that i've noted i'm getting more views than likes please guys do like the video so that it can get recommended to other people on youtube and obviously if you hit the like button you are actually telling youtube that this is the type of content that youtube can recommend to other people who are also in the forex market space obviously on youtube looking towards getting looking towards getting it looking towards getting educational videos so so you don't want to eat alone right do hit the like button so this video can obviously do get recommended to other people some of you are going to be surprised some of you obviously uh, won't be surprised because you've been using this thing, obviously, the very same strategy that I've been teaching on my previous videos. The chat patterns or the result chat patterns, um, the supply demand and the major key levels, market structure, break of structure. So let's get into it. Looking at the volatility 100 index, obviously, it showed a bit of momentum to the upper part of the markets. And obviously, from that point on, markets just fall drastically until the current market price so i just want to show you guys how this thing actually came about and and from the markets and from the markets obviously changing structure how would you as a trader capitalized on that movement so let's just get into it without wasting time guys so looking at the uh, volatility 100 index right now currently on an uptrending structure and obviously you know what we have to do we just come here and we do highlight the market low that obviously market gave us previously and obviously the second one right there so now after us getting these levels we can confidently do draw our diagonal support right there then obviously after the diagonal support we can obviously come at the upper part of the market and look the current market high or the high that market uh, gave us that was actually present at a particular given time and obviously in that case it had to be this one right there first one obviously second one so looking at this one we do have ourselves a beautiful reversal chat pattern and obviously did get ourselves a beautiful third touch right there so now looking at this i just want to show you how you would have caught the first sell off in the market and obviously scale down to the current market price that we obviously do have for ourselves so looking at this one right now this is what we actually did have now you can definitely see that the market did give us a rejection and obviously first candlestick to give us that rejection close below second candlesticks also close below so it never had that bullish momentum as you can see it was just a uh, low momentum and from that point on markets just shot all the way to the lower part of the market and obviously if you can come here look at this markets obviously tried showing respect here but why is it that i've just uh, noted from this point on the manner that the markets obviously did shoot down with so markets uh, came here in a form of a body and obviously closed and and obviously broke this level and did close below and now looking at the second candlestick obviously markets went back and closed back in so from this point on obviously you as a trader would have to obviously do close or take your profits and obviously start looking for buying opportunities but with that being said markets just went back and obviously 
broke that area then first candlestick close below second close below then from this point on obviously you had your first win first loss so from here obviously you capitalize on this that candlestick forming right here and obviously moving with the markets all the way to the lower part of the markets and if you do need yourself some confidence boosters you'd obviously come here to the previously printed low in the markets which obviously was this one and you do what you just highlighted obviously after highlighting this you could definitely see that markets did break this area and obviously the first candlestick that was approaching that area it came in a form of a body and obviously closed in the form of a full body so now we're obviously on the lookout to see whether the second candlestick would either reject here or just break below and obviously give us confirmations of the market's continuation so looking at this one markets broke here obviously you have your first entry here markets broke here and obviously first candlestick to break obviously did close below our level or our previous market low that we did have for ourselves and now we have the second candlestick also closing below then obviously when that candlestick forms you do what you execute the sell here and move with the markets all the way to the lower part of the market so as you can see markets played around and obviously what you had to do as a trader you place your stop loss just right above here because you know that if by any chance we would have candlesticks coming back aggressively or reject obviously coming back to this area closing into this area markets would further continue with the rally all the way to the upper part of the markets but unfortunately here markets just continued put the melt down so what is it that you can actually consider you just look at on your left hand side and obviously consider those market levels and those market levels are obviously the ones that are going to tell you what is it that the markets could potentially do from that point on so now looking at this one here this is a level that we could actually do consider here so let us zoom in a bit I'm actually put it here yes that's where it was actually at let's look carefully yes that's it so if we can look at this one as well obviously first candlestick to approach was in the form of a body but never touched so now the first candlestick to touch it did obviously reject the area so now i was having a high hopes that the markets wouldn't hold that much onto that level but would just reject and come here to this previously printed market supply that the markets obviously did print for us and obviously respect there and further push to the lower part of the markets but to my surprise markets when but to my surprise the second candlestick just couldn't hold but broke below and obviously after breaking the second candlestick also closed below so now me having this information that was another confirmation of obviously to taking another sell here and move with the markets to the lower part of the markets so this is how you can actually do use the previous data or the previous market data to obviously see whether you can still hold on into a trade or you can exit because i get a lot of dms actually most of the time people ask me that how do you become so confident with holding your trades or how do you see that you are still on the safe side to continue holding and how do you see that now it's time for you to exit so these are actually some of the tricks that i do obviously use to see if i can hold on a trade or obviously get out of a certain trade so now looking at this one we also have another structure here which you can consider right here and we expand it perfect so markets obviously fell off or continued with the sell off and obviously as the markets got into this level first candlestick touch and obviously did give us uh, a bit of a rejection so now we are so now obviously for me so now obviously i had to consider the second candlestick and see if it closes below or closes above so this is the same minute obviously you see that it closing above then you definitely have to close this trade and obviously now start looking for buying opportunities and obviously whilst looking for that buying opportunity you do highlight this level of supply that markets did print for us as you can see right there and this could potentially be your take profit but unfortunately markets obviously after the buy as you can see here after this buy right there markets just shot up and obviously decided to make a u-turn so probably here this would have been your locked profits stop loss hits or if you didn't lock at all obviously you just go back to draw down and obviously do hit your stop loss so that's it guys markets just shot down so this would have been your first 
market loss if you didn't obviously lock your profits this would have been your first loss because keep it in mind that or remember that no strategy is actually 100 percent accurate so you just have to adjust when necessary and move with the markets you have to take that out sometimes and just move on because you cannot be always right just keep that in mind fingers crossed bruv you cannot be always right so fast forward markets played around and obviously whilst markets are playing around markets did live behind a low right there so this is what we did have right there so markets break the low and obviously after that markets came back to respect the previously broken structure low and obviously gave us uh, a minimum of two candlesticks obviously to closing below then from that point on we definitely do capitalize on the silent move of the markets all the way to the lower part of the markets as you can see markets did consolidate for a while but then as time went on markets came back here obviously to our entry uh, played around for some time then eventually markets just fell hard all the way to the lower part of the market so if you're that type of a trader who loves scaling in you would have just gotten into this trade obviously two candlesticks did close below and obviously your stop loss must be right above the previous printed market high which is obviously this one markets played around for some time broke out of structure then from there markets just fell so as the markets fell it gave it did again give us another rejection here obviously coming here to this back this structure here so markets obviously also gave us another retest of structure here as you can see guys the markets did give us a doji candlestick from that point on i definitely knew that the markets would give me another impulse to the lower part of the markets so now looking at the current market price you can definitely see that the markets are in a range so there's definitely nothing for you to worry about or there's nothing for you that you can or there's nothing for you to be on the lookout for however you can just highlight these levels Right, so as you can see having these levels and obviously on the upper part of the markets we do have um, current highs and obviously we have these levels let me just highlight these levels first so i'm just going to consider these ones as my minor levels and consider these ones as my major level so why is it that i'm on the lookout for obviously coming from the lower part of the markets we do highlight this support level or that support area there then we come to the upper part of the markets obviously i come here and i highlight my major level here so now after highlighting my major level i can also do come here and I highlight these minor levels that markets obviously did print for me so what is it that i'm actually waiting for right now as you can see that the minor levels are easily violated or the minor levels were easily violated previously markets broke here this level now became support shot up and at the very same time markets just rejected and further pushed markets to the lower part of the market so this was actually a free break area so that is why i actually don't do not recommend that you guys do trade ranging markets so but however why is it that you can be on the lookout for obviously if markets break this major level here or breaking structure here i'm gonna wait for a market to give me a retest and obviously after that retest i'm just gonna move with the markets all the way to the upper part of the markets however if the markets obviously do decide to reject here and further move to the lower part of the markets because of the range and obviously by any chance do have momentum to break the range and further move to the lower part of the markets i'm just gonna wait for a proper market retest or a retest or a respect of the previously broken structure low of which is of, of which is obviously this one then from there i'm just gonna execute on the saw and move with the markets all the way to the lower part of the markets so this is it guys you definitely do not have to confuse yourself just have to keep it simple as you can so this was my breakdown on volatility 100 do let me know in the comment section if you obviously do want more of synthetic indices and do let me know what you think about today's analysis and do not forget to give this video a thumbs up i'll definitely see you on my next video